What's up guys, it's Insta back again for another video and today we have a spin stealing test. Today we'll be testing Master Diabolus's spin stealing capabilities. This is the newest release from Beyblade Burst GT. It's the new Diabolus evolution, it comes with a generate driver, it's a dual spin bay. It's really cool, really strong, and I want to see how well it can spin steal. And yes, any Beyblade can spin steal. They don't have to be a certain spin direction, they don't have to have any material. Any Beyblade has the capability to spin steal. I'm going to be testing it up against a couple bays, and unlike most people, I'm actually going to use a launcher. I'm just going to launch light, just because the generate makes it hard to hand spin it. It just doesn't get stamina that well. So, let's get into the test battles. <laughs> And to prove my point from earlier, I put it in right spin mode and we're gonna test against Dread.
So as you can see from the testing, the new Diabolos can indeed spin steal in both spin directions without having any rubber or even a good driver at spin stealing. Very uh, important thing to know, you do not need rubber to spin steal. It's a very common misconception in the Beyblade community and I'm not sure why. I'm sure it's because of the anime, but like, it still doesn't make sense. But uh, in the anime, just recently, uh, click off now if you don't want spoilers. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Um, in left spin mode, up against Prime Apocalypse, Arthur goes in for attack and it actually spin steals. So, proves you do not need rubber, even in the anime. So, yeah. Also, I'll probably be doing a 1v1 battle this really soon. So, if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video or live stream. Bye.